We think that high performance computing has a direct impact on the enhanced uh, imaging for, for oil and gas exploration as well as for reservoir simulation and other technologies that really make a, a big impact on the bottom line for um, oil, oil companies and, and seismic processing houses. To date, um, Accelerator has focused on uh, improving the performance of, of seismic imaging, reservoir simulation, and a little bit on uh, electromagnetic imaging. Seismic imaging is really um, to reconstruct the the subsurface image of, of what's going on underneath the earth such that geologists and geophysicists can recommend where the oil is and I think that we've um, exhausted all of the easy oil and we're now into the more difficult geologies and, and difficult uh, geographies and with that the cost of drilling a well um, increases exponentially and, and so companies are also more interested in generating a better image before they, they risk their capital and, and go drill wells. So, um, we started off with, with Kirkhoff time uh, migration, which is the, really the workhorse we believe in the industry, taking about 80% of the cycles. Um, we have a toolkit that developers and, and um, independent software vendors can use to harness the, uh, the massive uh, potential and, and uh, performance capabilities of, of GPUs, graphics processors, as well as the modern Intel and AMD um, CPUs. And so we also have worked on about four or five different uh, Kirkhoff time codes uh, with Saudi Aramco and Techco and others and companies like uh, Absolute Imaging and, and Key Seismic in Calgary are using our um, accelerated uh, Kirkhoff time to, to harness the benefits and increase their capacity without and, and doing it more efficiently to impact their bottom line. Right at the other end of the spectrum is, is reverse time migration. And, and there, um, this has really been viewed as, as the purview of, of uh, the, the super majors and only the large seismic processing houses. It's, it's much more expensive in terms of compute cycles uh, for a much better image and it's the de facto standard in, in places like the Gulf of Mexico and um, for deep water and, and, and deep objectives. And so we have a, a toolkit in reverse time migration that allows, again, software vendors and, and even, I think, more of the market to, to take advantage of, of reverse time migration and be able to use it in a cost-effective and efficient manner to generate um, the high-resolution images that, that companies need in order to make decisions. Um, I should emphasize that, that Accelor RTM is production software, and so it's easy. There's actually a lot of different codes that are probably on the, the R&D shelf in, in people's back rooms or the, that have been written up. And, and I think it's very difficult to um, have efficient boundaries, support anisotropic VTI and TTI to support domain decomposition and cluster capabilities, distribution across the larger um, migration cluster and, and high quality imaging conditions and so on. There's a lot of little details and then to put them all together in a high performance manner is, is, is very difficult. And so I think that we can confidently say that you can put Excel or RTM into production next week and it might be a little harder to do that with some of the, uh, some of the codes that are on the shelf today. And so don't uh, take my word for it. Yeah, you can head to our website www.excelware.com or contact us at seismic at excelware.com.